All right, troops, listen up. As you all know, Bentley is still unavailable. But we've got to come up with a plan. So I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish whatever it is she's trying to finish. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Galeth, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan rings true! Okay, everyone get ready to move out. After that bridge comes down, we'll have to get in there fast. Sorry, I missed the part about what we do when we get inside. We'll have to improvise. Sounds good to me. Smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Gallop, wait! Why, thank you, Gallop. I've been looking all over for that. <laughs> she is making her escape! So... arrows to good use. Penelope, I saw some rust spots Big over there. Mistake. She's on the rope, Sly! Aim for the chest! Oops, looks like you missed. Oh. Crush you like a buck! Gotta take those arms out again. Is that her? I could reach her shoulder with an arrow. Turn it off, Sly! What's wrong, Penelope? Feeling disarmed? I'll sort you like a block! Be gone, pen! I've got you now, Cooper! Way to go, buddy! Keep it up! Now I'm getting the hang of this. 
Towers exposed. Give it up, Cooper! It's over, Cooper! Give it up! Ready, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope. Huh? You heard me. Bentley, your suit is that my my moat monster? Yeah, what's well, left of it anyway? The design was adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much, at least. Why? For you, of course. I had to make you see how things could be. I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh. Bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most <laughs> valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential. Together, we could change the world, but you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow. And I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now. You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this! Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. Come get me, Shorty. That was a cheap shot. Okay, that was pretty good. Try again. <laughs> you look like a rolling trash can. Try to keep up, Slowpoke. Sorry, Bentley. Looks like the best mech won. You should have stayed in your shell. Whoa, your belts are showing. Do the math, Bentley. You've got zero power. Can't run forever! Look out! You're nothing but scrap metal!
Thanks, Bentley. Look, I'm sorry about Penelope. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. Know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so... I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim al Kupar who was in trouble now. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him, which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley, and we were going to need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. Thank you.